Good morning. It is Sunday. Technically, it's Easter, but God forgive me, I'm not really celebrating that much today. I might consider going to virtual church. Um, the Maybe I should turn the notifications back on for my church locally here. I've had kind of a roller coaster relationship with this church over the past year or so. That's another conversation for another video if I choose to do that. But when I realized that I wanted to move closer to work in response to my like acceptance of the idea that this job is really the right one for me and that I wasn't going to live in this building while it was being constructed. <laughs> I started looking at other churches and I've reached out to this pastor by email, haven't heard back. I may have to actually call the church or find a way to go there, but it's all the way where I work. So I, it's not going to be very easy to go when I don't live in that area yet, but I don't know how I'm going to do that. The, okay. So I'm, I'm swerving. The idea is, um, I've kind of had a tough relationship with this church, although they don't realize it, since September. And uh, when I thought I was going to move, I was like, well, I'll probably be switching churches anyway. And then recently I was trying to go to their live stream and they had some kind of internet problem similar to the one this church had the week before. They just couldn't get the stream up and running. They Their internet was giving them problems. So I was like, okay, I'll go back to the local one. And I guess I was just in the mood to go to virtual church that day. And I decided to go to the virtual coffee hour. And that was such a nice experience. I thought I might want to do it again, but I'll probably do it again like next week or the week after. I actually had someone ask me, do you want me to take you to the actual in-person one? And I turned it down mostly because my aunt wants to pick me up at 1130 for lunch. And I don't know when an Easter service is going to be out and I'm going to be at home. So I was like, you know, I better not. Um, I should probably go to virtual church just because of what today is. But I know God loves you whether you go to church or not. Um, you know, I don't know when or if I'm going to discuss, like, religion, spirituality, all of this stuff on this channel. I'm kind of on my own journey. I I believe in the truth of the story of Jesus, and I... There was a time when if you would have asked me, do you believe what Christians believe, essentially, I would have said yes. Now, do I believe what Christians believe? I don't know if I dare say I'm not sure or, I mean, like I said, I believe in Jesus, but... I'm no longer willing to believe that Jesus and God and Holy Spirit are... I'm having a hard time with the idea that God made me and then does not accept me. And if you're like, where'd you get that idea? I got it from 12 years of experience where I was trying to be raised in the name of being a good Christian girl to be not who I genuinely was. Um, like I said, this is a conversation for a whole other video. I don't know if I'm going to put that in the vlog. I probably will just because <sighs> well, because I didn't go through this stuff so that I could just not talk about it.
there was some reason why I was meant to go through what I went through. And although I know people, and I have heard stories, and I'm sure I'll hear stories in the future, of kids that had it way worse than I did, and I do have a lot to be grateful for, there were still things that shouldn't have happened. Uh, anyway, the point is, there was a time when I would have immediately answered yes if you said, do you believe the way Christians believe? But that me was just kind of doing what I had been raised to do by those people. I was very judgmental toward myself, toward others, and I'm still judgmental toward myself. Um, but not because I don't think I'm Christian enough, but because I just think I should be better. I should be dealing with things better than I do. But, I mean, I don't want to be that person anymore. I don't want to be the person who was judgmental and, you know what? I'm just going to have to lock that up because obviously I'm not ready to do whatever I thought I wanted to do right now. Um, I just don't want to be that person anymore. And if that makes me not a good enough Christian, then God forgive me. And anyway, this is a whole separate conversation. Like I said, probably for a whole separate video. Happy Easter. And... Maybe I'll do a more quote-unquote appropriate celebration next year. but Or maybe in this constantly shifting world that we're in, maybe going to virtual church will become an acceptable Easter celebration. Or maybe half of what we do in life is more acceptable than we think it is because God is not this judgmental monster in the sky who is just disgusted by everything we do and we're lucky if at the end of the day he calls us good enough i bet there are even christians who would say that is not what god is god is loving and loves you for you and i don't know that the christians that i'm specifically thinking of would say that which is why I no longer associate with that kind of Christianity. But there are probably Christians that do say that. Maybe some of those Christians are in the church that I... The section of the church that both of these churches, the one that I'm thinking I might become a part of, that's clear out where I work, and the one that I have kind of on and off been a part of for several years now, that's closer to me. This particular section might actually believe that the truth is I haven't had a really philosophical conversation lately with a pastor about that. Well, it doesn't even have to be a pastor, but <laughs> it could be another congregant. But anyway, um, I'm going to spend the next hour and a half turning this into a religious video. And number one, we don't have time on a Tunes to Tube based audio based video for that and number two that's not the point of this that's that's not the point of this vlog but it's just a subject that comes up this weekend I guess and so let's give it a little bit of attention so anyway though um happy Easter and I hope you had a good one whether it included going to church or an egg hunt or spending time with your family or all of the above See, I did the right thing. It's 11.03, and they're not even... I'm watching the live stream of what would be going on if I was to have gone to church today, and it's 11.03, and they're not even... They've probably got at least a good half hour, if not longer. And I would not feel good about saying, about whispering into this guy's ear, my aunt's going to be at my place in like 20 minutes. I'm going to have to ask you to take me back. I... No, 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 I did the right thing today. See, this is how depending on others for transportation becomes me being a burden to them. If I had done that, 
he would have had to inconvenience himself so I could get back to where I needed to be when I needed to be there. It just wouldn't have been a good thing. And it's what I face as a person who cannot drive. I don't, sometimes don't drive comes out of my mouth, but I don't like the, the phrase don't drive. That implies a choice. I could drive if I, if I wanted to, but I don't believe in doing that to the earth. The, the fumes that gas creates is a problem for the environment and I don't believe in that. So I choose not to drive or, you know, I don't want to deal with the costs associated with having a car. Therefore I choose not to drive or, uh, you know, whatever circumstances a person has where they make a conscious choice to not drive, they could get a car. They could, they could afford to buy a car. They could afford to pay for the upkeep of a car. They could, they have no problem with gas or the rising gas prices, as I'm hearing about now. And they could drive if they wanted to, but they chose not to. That is not me. I have never driven my whole life, and I never will, due to the fact that I will never see well enough to be a safe driver. And my orientational issues might play into it too, although if I wanted to give a GPS a try, maybe I could. Uh, with pedestrian um, GPSs, there's the combination of inconvenience, I just don't want to walk places, and safety. Frankly, I don't trust myself to safely cross a street. That is not to say that a blind person cannot cross a street. There are plenty of blind people who walk safely across the street. But there are also blind people who, well, blind and sighted alike, who get hit by cars trying to cross streets. And with me, I, I don't remember what my percentage was of safe crossing or safe calling. Okay, it's safe to cross the street. I don't remember what that percentage was at one point, but it was not one that I or the orientation and mobility instructor thought was a safe ratio. And again, you know, I will never be in a physical condition to safely, legally, legitimately get a driver's license. So I cannot drive. And as a result of not being able to drive, I have to count on somebody if I want to go somewhere that would require driving and due to my frankly fear of crossing streets <laughs> I and my inability to keep track of where I am for long enough to successfully do a route of walking from say my apartment to this church is close enough that if a person who was used to walking places wanted to walk there they could but I can't and don't and as a result would have to ask this person who was kind enough to offer me a ride to church to take me home early so I could meet my next rendezvous. No, it was the right thing to do to stream it today. See, I just got a text saying she's on her way and <laughs> I would have had to text her back and say, well, it's up to you how you want to do this. You can either come to my church and meet me there or sit in the driveway until I get there. <laughs> Yeah. Now, as I think I've said earlier in this vlog, some people have the courage to vlog from the restaurant, even if just for a moment. That's not me. I, I might vlog from a restaurant if I was taking myself out to lunch. When there's other people involved, I don't, I just don't do that yet. Maybe I will one day, but I'm not there yet. So I'll talk to you when I get home from lunch. Okay, I'm home, and that was a nice lunch. There was a lot of families in the restaurant, one of whom had kids that didn't really know how to <laughs> act in a restaurant. Um, very loud, but <laughs> overall it was a good it was a good lunch. We all kind of had the same thing. I had steak, mashed potatoes, and broccoli. One of my aunts had steak, mashed potatoes, and broccoli as well, and my other aunt had, I think she had chicken mashed potatoes and broccoli. We all kind of ate mashed potatoes and broccoli, but they were, 
yummy and healthy for the most part, I would say. And uh, I mean, they were, I would imagine real potatoes, not these instant pouches of potatoes that I get myself. So uh, depending on what you think of instant mashed potatoes or how healthy you think those are. Um, well, it's just, it was a good dinner. Um, it was, there's a, there's a difference between steak and mashed potatoes and peas the way I make them and steak and mashed potatoes and broccoli the way the restaurant makes them. It's just, I think there's some of that, these people know what they're doing <laughs> as opposed to me just doing what I know to do, which is, you know, not necessarily not done correctly, but just not the same period. You know what? I think I'm going to end the vlog because I've got a virtual appointment tonight in like 10 minutes and then the evening will be upon me. I'll need to like eat dinner and do whatever else I'm going to do today and or tonight rather and go to bed and get ready for another work week. So, um, and I, <laughs> somewhere along the line, I'm going to have to edit this and like archive it, get it ready to publish when I'm ready to publish it. Um, actually I may have to split this up. It, it I've, I know in my head that I should edit this stuff while it's happening instead of take a whole hour and a half worth of footage or more over two or three days and then try to edit it all together later but I didn't do that this weekend so there's going to be a lot of editing to do and or I may have to split this up into two or three parts because I'm not going to be able to scrunch this down to 30 minutes. I mean, I might be able to, but we'll see. Anyway, I'm going to end this vlog. Thank you for watching, listening, whatever you call what you just did. <laughs> check out Ira, check out Shipped, check out uh, whatever you might want to check out in the description box below. And you will hear from me in the next video. Bye.